Darren Ambrose. I'm, I'm, obviously, you know I'm looking at you first. Obviously, uh, Crook is over there texting, so obviously he's not concentrating on the show. But uh, I'm going to come to you first. How are you feeling first and foremost? And how are you? Well, I'm disappointed. I'm Why? disappointed. I, I listen. I expected a bit more from Tottenham. A today. bit more or a lot more? A bit more. Let's be honest. Look, Man City, uh, a phenomenal football team, and they showed it today. But I just expected a little bit more. I expected Tottenham to go for it, and they didn't. It seemed to me that they played the Mourinho way, but I think Mourinho plays that way better. I really do, and I just think we never really had a go. It's hard to say that because Man City, like I said, a phenomenal football club. They were the deserved winners, but Tottenham never really laid a glove on them, and it was it, it, it's hard for a Spurs fan to watch that. Alex, what did you make of it? Because obviously you've been quite critical of Spurs in the past. Um, what did you make of that performance? I agree with Darren, really. I thought it was flat. And I use the same words that I used for Southampton in their FA Cup semi-final. I think when you get a chance to play in a, a big Wembley occasion and Tottenham don't get to a Wembley Cup final very often in recent times, you want to come off the pitch and get back in the dressing room and say, I left it all out there. I'm not, I'm not convinced Spurs did leave it all out there. I actually think they played like a team who were happy to come away just losing 1-0. And of course, we spent a lot of time this week talking about the European Super League. Tottenham clearly consider themselves to be a European Super Club. Do European Super Clubs go into a cup final and be happy just to lose 1-0, try and not get hammered? I'm not convinced. Do you know what? I just didn't know, what, looking at the game, what the actual tactics were. Because from start to finish, Manchester City dominated. And as you do in every game, a team will have a spell. But Spurs today had not one bit of spell, one bit of pressure where you thought, right, this might be their opportunity to try and get something from the game. There was literally nothing. Yeah. Uh, look, I want to put it out there as well that for, for me as a Spurs fan, I have no blame at all on Brian Mason at all. I think he's been put in a, a harsh a harsh um, reality. Ryan Mason Mason's does. put into a very difficult position there. Um, and for me, there's no blame put on him. I don't think... I'd have liked to have seen him look go and have a, a good go. But I was going to say, should, in, in many ways, was it, not almost a, was it not almost a free hit for Ryan Mason? Should, should he have not gone and, and really gone for the jugular? And actually, yeah, you might end up getting beat 4 or 5-1, but he might never get to manage in a cup final again. Yeah, understandable. And I do think the the fear for him would have been getting turned over 5-6. And, and I think he's, I don't think he'd be happy with 1-0. Mate, listen to me. It could have been 5 or 6 if they had their shooting books It could have, but it was 1-0. And he, he held them. Tottenham held them until the 81st, 82nd minute. So he's got that to fall back on. Say, I, I, I tried. I tried to produce. But like I said, I do think that was a Mourinho style of play. I think the players are playing still a Mourinho way. I just felt Mourinho would have probably done a better job today. Again, he, he made the point about playing out for the back and they kept trying to do it. And I think I think that's become a curse of a lot of Premier League teams and not even just Premier League teams. Even if you go lower down the pyramid, everyone wants to play out from the back. Even if it's not on, sometimes it's not... I know it's unfashionable to kick it long, but if you're not capable of doing that, why keep doing it? And also... That's the best way, isn't it, to, to try and beat Manchester City is, is, is to turn defence into attack, exactly. play it over the top of their back line. That's what Jose Mourinho did um, to beat them in the Premier League earlier this season. So, so I, I don't think you can absolve Ryan Mason of responsibility. Mm -hmm. He's put his head above the parapet. He wants that job. He's, he's managed a team in a cup final and he's basically managed them not to get battered. And I, I think that's really disappointing. They beat Brentford, didn't they, Tottenham, in the semi-final. I think Brentford would have given a better account of themselves than Tottenham did this afternoon. I don't think they'd have come off the pitch thinking we didn't leave it out there today. Do you know what? I've, I've noticed you've been slowly getting more and more depressed about this result. You were quite upbeat when we first came into the studio 20 minutes ago. Now you, you, like you Yeah, it's you just thinking about it. And obviously hearing, hearing you talk, hearing the Spurs fan, and it, you know what? It's, it's actually a little bit embarrassing. And, and I know everyone should be with the European Super League, embarrassed with their own club, but Spurs were the laughing stock out of them all. Um and I just felt that today was the opportunity for Spurs to, to take some of that heat away and have a real good go. If they lose, they lose. But have a real good go losing. Ha go for it. But we're even more of a laughing stock now. And we haven't won a trophy for so long. How can you be in the Super League? It, it's a little bit embarrassing today. Well, to be fair, let's see what Ben thinks. He's a Spurs fan. Ben, um, what did you make of your team's performance uh, today? Evening, gents. Evening. Uh, Thanks for calling in. Yeah. No worries. Um, yeah, look, I've, I've been a Spurs fan for 30 years. Um, Commiserations. I'm, I'm at the, I know, I mean, that's like life sentence. Um, I'm at the point now where I just feel like I'm not really sure where we go. Like I, I've always been an optimist, wherever the situation is. Um, I mean, Kane, Kane will go in the summer. It's, it's not even a, a case of if. if. If he's got any sense about him, he, he'd be the first out of the club. We haven't got a manager. 
Uh, the owner has delivered us one trophy in 20 years. Um, You're welcome. I just, I, honest, I, honestly, not sure. Yeah, cheers, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you, were you on the bench? <laughs> no, no. On you, sub. But, hey, the warm-up was great. <laughs> anyway, carry on, <laughs> carry on Ben. Mate. You're part, you might have given a good team talk. We never know. Um, but no, look, I, I don't really know where we go from here. Like you know, everyone's talking about Nagelsmann, Rogers. Why would they want to come? They're, they're at better clubs. Um, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm a little bit lost tonight, and I know it's just in the heat at the moment of losing a cup final. But Darren, I want some inspiration from you as a, as a fellow Spurs fan. I just, I'm not really sure, especially if Kane goes in the summer. Like. I'm not confident that my chairman's going to, even if we get 150 million for Kane, which is ridiculously ambitious. Just to check, you're, you're, talk, you're talking to Darren Ambrose, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben, Ben, who do you Go on, Darren, cheer him up. Cheer him up. I'm not sure I can cheer. I think I'm feeling exactly the same as you are today. I'm very, very low. Um, look, who do you put the blame down to today? I mean, I know my blame goes to, and I, I think it goes to the owner, I think Daniel Levy, but does it's Ryan Mason have any blame on it to, for you? No, Ryan Mason, I'm 30. You know, if, if Daniel Levy called me up next week and said, Ben, can you take the, the Tottenham team? I, don't, I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah, like, agreed. It's just ridiculous. Um, you know, you've got owners there who have, who have built an unbelievable stadium. They've got a huge business. You know, you go to Korea now and every other person's a Tottenham fan. But what have we got to show for it? Absolutely. We get, you know, we, we got Gareth Bale back and they did not know what to do with him. A guy who's won four Champions Leagues almost single-handedly in the finals. I mean, he sat on the bench. Like, it just sums us up. I mean, the, the best thing about the Super League not happening uh, was not having to see Tottenham lose every week. You know, you, hey, the we, Premier League, we, we might win the odd, the odd game here and there, and you know, might, we might finish sixth or something, and it's a bit of bragging rights. Um, but, you par- I hope you're parking. Yeah. I hope you're parking safely there. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, ben, listen, yeah. Ben, great call there. And listen, I, I can hear the, the disappointment in his voice about where um, Spurs are going.